Hello again, this is the next video of MB System for Everyone series. So now I, I'm going to going back to my to, to where we end up on the last video. So here I created the auxiliary files and now I will start doing some plots. So the command to create plots is not actually a, a, a command or, or a, a binary, is a is a Perl script and it's named mbm underscore plot. The most basic thing you can do is actually just put a minus n to plot the navigation. And as I mentioned uh, for the previous command, the mb data list, you can type the minus f minus one minus i uh, data list dot mb minus one. But since this is the, um, the default that the most of the MB system commands expect if you use the, 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 the if you name your data list as data list um, dot MB minus one you actually don't have to type this part so I would do it like this I will delete so I will assume that you created your data list the way I, I told you so and another thing is I can put the minus V which means the for V rows so you can actually uh, uh, have more messages printed by your command while the command is executing so you have a, let's say more feedback from the command so it's not mandatory you can actually do it without the minus v so i do enter so I ha this is the verbose vir vir mode so i have a um, my list of files and and some information about the plot and then I, I have this um, this name. Actually, uh, in, in in many cases, um, MB system works like a two steps uh, procedure. So you, first you call the the plot, and then you you the 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 command uh, responsible for the plot creates a script, and then you execute the script. Uh, one thing that uh, was a, a, a mistake by some users at the mailing list is that in general it says that you have to execute this this uh, script, but the fact is that this script is not a, a bash script, so it's not uh, formatted for this terminal. So if I try to do it like this, I have uh, sometimes it works like now, but sometimes it doesn't. So what you have to do instead of uh, uh, typing uh, dot uh, slash uh, in the name of the script is better if you do it this way. If you always call the C shell, which is the 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 the, the way that the scripts created by MB system are let's say formatted. So calling the C shell, you are let's say 100% safe to, to, to assume that your script will be correctly interpreted and executed. So I do the same. So what, the, what is happening here on Poseidon Linux is that um, the, uh, the script at the end tries to call ghost view but I don't have ghost view installed so that's why the, the command doesn't uh, um, um, work. But if I go in the in this folder, I will have all the auxiliary files I just created, and I have th uh, uh, this data list dot mb minus one dot ps, which is a, a postscript. It's a file that is similar to a PDF. So if I double click on it, I have my plot. It's you see that is um, it's similar to GMT plots because it's actually using GMT to create a plot and you see that well it looks a bit I would go to best fit so I, I see the whole plot and I have the the grid so with the limits of the of the data and I have this line and what does mean this line this line means the the navigation the, the made by during the survey so, so far it doesn't uh, tell me much, so just tell me the, where the ship was, where the vessel was, so, but actually this is the most basic plot you can do. The second plot you can do, if you go to the, the man page of mbm uh, underscore plot, 
you can do a minus g1 which do a color um, map uh, using the buff metric data so I do like this again I have to, to execute the script since the, the script has the has the same name uh, as before I can simply um, put my arrows up and down and, and find the, the, the script the C shell command with the script and again so now took a little bit longer because it's actually reading the 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 fast buffimetry files as you can see here and creating a buffimetric map so if I go again you already see that on the preview that this map will look different so if I open it I have the buffimetric data so so here you have the a color scale so I will zoom in a bit so you can see so this is, is the shallower part with this let's say very bright um, orange and then going deeper and deeper and deeper okay so then I, I can actually on Poseidon is, uh, is quite um, handy you can keep this window open and you can start changing the plot so I will do it again but now remember that I, I, I used the minus n for the navigation so I, I can actually start building um, some uh, complex commands uh, actually um, activating more and more fun uh, functionalities so I will now combine the, the, the buffmetric data, the buffmetric map with the navigation so I do like this I execute the, the script so I, I, I'm actually just more or less updating the map so if I go to here to the to the viewer to the post script viewer it automatically when detects that the file was changed automatically reloads the file so here we have the um, the buffmetric map with with the navigation another option here is that you can actually use the minus the minus g minus 2 which uh, uses the buffmetric information but creates uh, artificial illuminations um, um, graphic which simulates the well a, a source with light and and creates some shadows and and gives you uh, let's say a, a better three uh, fake 3d representation of the of your buffmetric uh, data so I do it again I execute the script okay you see that uh, here it was flashing and then because it was uh, updating the map so here I have a, a little bit of 3d um, on my map doesn't look that good because the data is a bit spiky is but we will go through it and clean it in the next videos but so far we are just plotting the data so I go again I can plot the amplitude data again execute okay it was updated oops not if it's not um, amplitude this is um, sorry this is what is minus G so here I have the backscatter of my ground and yeah you have the values of the amplitude and you can actually try to do some sort of um, C button classification with you using the values. Of course, you can uh, um, here the the color palette is not equalized, so we can actually uh, do an extra step here minus s for to activate the equalization of the data. This would take a little bit longer, but not that much for for this small data set. And you see that the map uh, with the backscatter looks 
in some cases very very different okay I will do just another example. For example, I will uh, start from more or less from scratch. I will just plot the navigation. But another uh, very interesting feature is that you can uh, type minus m n a to uh, plot the the name of the files. So well, this is not practical because it's the files are not oriented perpendicular to the to the line, so I will do it again with but with a P at the end and then enter execute the script and then I have this plot. So this doesn't tell you much, but it can be useful sometimes to to detect if if you knew that at this area you had a huge spike instead of going uh, through the files you can actually already see that this file was responsible for that spike for that problem so you could actually go straight to this there are other let's say more elegant ways to detect the, the problems so but we are going to see this just in the future in the next videos so i guess this was the main thing so far and yeah Bye.